It is the draft lottery, ladies and gentlemen. It has came upon us, and the Portland Trailblazers find themselves in an unbelievable situation. You know, with a superstar guard in Damian Lillard, they very well could be walking away with the number one overall draft pick with the rights to draft Victor Wimbenyama. I don't understand. I mean, I don't think people understand that Rip City could actually change his fortunes in a blink of an eye. Rip City, buckle up. We about to get you prepared. We have the draft lottery special kicking off 6.30 Eastern time. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. And we got the Laker game right afterwards. It's Flight Sports TV. We joined by our Blazers aficionado, Zen Master. What's the deal from the Black Basketball Channel? What's, what's the deal, Zen? Salute the game, gang. What's happening, Flight? No, I can't call it. You know what time it is. Um, the Blazers find themselves in the draft lottery. W what's your thoughts on the situation and where the Blazers stand right now on the eve of the draft lottery? Yeah, first of all, um, you know, I, I would like to say this was by design, but it's not. The Blazers tried to retool last season in the offseason, tried to form a bond with the new guys. Dame spent a lot of time trying to raise up the young, trying to trying to build and, and get everybody solid, including Gary Payton the second. You know, things didn't go according to plan, especially with GP2. But then, um, you know, once we had a few guys get hurt, like Justice Winslow, and the record was going to crap after a few, you know, good weeks, um, at some point it became apparent that the team was not going to be any better than 500 no matter what they did. And decisions were made to go ahead and start pursuing the draft lottery. Now, everybody knows that the decision to tank is based on what's in the pool. And this year, the biggest fish in 20 years is in the tank. So it's worth it to me for an NBA team who can look into their future and say, okay, we're not going to make any noise in the playoffs this season. Let's not embarrass ourselves, but let's give ourselves a moderate chance, which the Blazers did by putting themselves in the fifth position. That provided them with a 10% chance, which is not the best mathematical chance, but it's one of the three best mathematical chances in this draft lottery. So, right. you know, the way I feel is this franchise has had a lot of bad luck over the years, Flight, and it's just time for us to have some good luck. That's the way Absolutely. I look at it. Absolutely. You brought up the record. You guys finished 33 and 49, right? 13th yeah. in the Western Conference. It was a debacle. Yeah, I did not believe it was going to go down like that when you have Dame time on the roster. Now, if the if the ping pong balls was to fall in your favor, because obviously everybody's talking the Spurs, Houston, and, and this, that, and the third, how... The, I feel like the Blazers could just swoop right in. You understand? Almost just like oh, yeah. a thief in the night and, and, and get this number one overall pick because nobody's talking about them, and that's usually the team that come through. What would the number one pick mean for the city of Portland before we get into the ramifications on what we do? What is What would be the vibe around Rip City? Talk to us. It would mean, honestly, a lot of trepidation because Portland's draft history has been mixed. We go back to Sam Bowie, which was the 1983 draft when Portland selected Sam Bowie over Michael Jordan. Everybody knows how that turned out. We flash forward to Brandon Roy and his selection, rookie of the year, but everybody knows how that turned out. We flash forward again to Greg Oden, where everybody knows how that turned out. Damian Lillard was, you know, an amazing gift to the city, but we have not had such luck in the draft since not necessarily due to the same kind of type of catastrophic injuries, but just guys not panning out. Well, this guy as a number one, as as good as prospect has been in any, in the last two decades. And most people expect him to be good out of the box. Personally, I look at his frame and I think there'll be some adjustment time and I really want to see him play NBA basketball before I make a, a hundred percent, yeah, this is going to work. This is not going to work. But uh, based on what he's done in France, you know, the guy looks like he can't miss, and he would be a game changer for us here in Portland. Should he not fall victim to Greg Oden syndrome or Brandon Roy syndrome, whichever one you choose? 
Absolutely. Uh, so you, if they get the number one pick, what does this mean for Damian Lillard? Is this a new dynamic duo in Portland? Are we moving on? What is this signaling, you know, if y'all land the number one pick? Because it's serious ramifications. For Damian Lillard, this is the critical moment of his career, and it will pan out over the next few days, essentially. But tomorrow is huge. If, if we are able to acquire... Victor Wimbenyama through this draft, it will instantly upgrade the team in the front court to a backcourt, front court scoring threat, which is something that is rare. That's, you know, every team would love to have that combination of backcourt and front court the way uh, Denver does, the way, you know, the Golden State Warriors once upon a time did when Kevin Durant was there. Uh, but at this point, for Damian Lillard, this would be his last chance at building a championship team here in Portland. And um, his best chance, you know, frankly, as long as this guy stays healthy, Dame's 32 going on 33 or 33 going on 34, which I'm not sure, but he's got a couple good more years left in him to make a run with this guy. And he's the kind of talent that will be a magnet to other talent in the NBA to say, oh, oh snap, we need to get to Portland. They're going to have him for the next how many years anyway because of, you know, rookie extensions and everything else. They're going to give him all the money in the world. This is the new Giannis. We're running to Portland. So that for Dame, it could be an entire game changer in that way. Or we don't get the pick. And it's already been said that Portland plans to trade that pick should we not get the number one pick. This is where things will get interesting. That's according to Damian Lillard, from what I understand. But if the Blazers decide they're going to go ahead with a youth movement at this point, they may decide Scoot Henderson is the point guard of the future, or Amin Thompson is the combo guard of their future, or who knows what position they'll try to fill. But... <clears throat> At point guard, we have Anthony Simons, who showed he was capable of, you know, leading a team in starter minutes last or the season before last. Um, we have a burgeoning shade and sharp at two or three. He can play both positions, I'm sure. You put in Amen Thompson, who's a or Asar Thompson, who's a two three, rather, and you got a good combo on the wing between Thompson and. Shaden Sharp. So I see a number of possibilities. Also, Brandon Miller, I think, would be a good addition um, as a wing for the Blazers, Dame or no Dame. Um, but we'll see yeah. what happens when it comes down to the front office and how they maneuver around this. La stuff. Last statement, um, Brandon Roy will be representing the Blazers. W what, what's, the, what's the luck on that? Um, how do you feel? Um, there's no need in hiding from things. I'm not superstitious. I don't believe Brandon Roy is a bad luck piece. I think he gave us a lot of good years or a few good years here in Portland. I know I got to see him play. Took a really nice picture of him and everything. But um, no, I, I don't. I'm not superstitious, and I don't believe that he'll bring us b bad luck. I think the balls will fall where they fall, and we'll be proud to have Brandon represent the Pacific Northwest, being uh, the head coach of Nathan Hill High School in Seattle, Washington, where he's from. Absolutely. Make sure you guys hit the like button and you subscribe and make sure you guys are pulled up here for the draft lottery special. You do not want to miss it. It's Flight Sports. Everybody go shout out the Black Basketball Channel where you can find the Zen Masters.